Welcome back to our channel and thank you for tuning in and thank you for supporting us. But if you're new to this channel and you haven't subscribed yet, please encourage us by doing so. And together, we shall make our Biafran dream a reality. E the Volani Caliphate, using their stooge, the Mandate Chief, INEC President, Tunubu, are seeking to weaken Eastern Security Network in order to launch a murderous invasion of Biafran land under the guise of farmers stroke header clash. The useless mandate robber does not care if the Fulani terrorist takes over Nigeria's ancestral lands as long as they will allow him to loot the nation treasury dry. And that is why the Boko Haram and Fulani terrorist bandits were able to ambush Nigerian soldiers and massacred over 36 of them, including the rescue Nigerian Air Force helicopter who went on rescue mission. They were brought down and everywhere was silent. Nothing happened. Eastern Security Network exists to keep Biafra safe from the ravages of killer heads, Fulani headsmen, now plaguing the entire Middle Belt and the North. Had it not been Eastern Security Network, Fulani terrorists masquerading as headsmen would have taken over Enugu, Anambra, Ebony, Imo, Abia, and the whole of South South region that came under sustained attacks, both from Fulani terrorists and the Fulani-controlled Nigerian security agencies during the fake Buaris regime. And Biafra would have been suffering the same fate afflicting Benue, Plateau, Borno, Niger State now. They would have been suffering it. Eastern Security Network has come to stay with Biafra and nothing will change the objectives of the outfits. Nothing will change it. Not even the mandate robber. He cannot change it. You know, some intelligence came, but the source refused to share it because it was too heavy. Now that the mandate team, Bola Tunubu, has declared war on Niger Republic through ECOWAS. The source thinks it is time to share it. It said, according to reports, after the coup in Niger broke out, the U.S. Vice President Kalamara Harris Asked Tenable to use ECOWAS to restore the ousted Niger president, Bazoum, because the United States had invested over $100 million in building a drone base in Niger Republic and didn't want to lose access to it. Also, in case you don't know, not only France buys uranium, from Niger Republic. The United States currently gets 14% of its uranium from Russia. It wants to stop buying Russian uranium and it is looking to Niger to fill that gap as well. So two things. Military base in Niger Republic, Niger Uranium. The mandate chief, Tunubu, was asked for something in return from Kamala Harris. He asked that they give him international legitimacy after the presidential election petition tribunal and the Supreme Court declares him president. He knows there will be protest afterward, but he does not want an NSAS publicity. 
He wants the United States to back him and not let the international media report it as they did during the answers and bring back our girls' protests. Just as the Chicago State University is covering up Tunubu's fraud. You know, because the government in that nation are the ones doing the job. So an agreement was reached that if the mandative, you know who, protects the United States and French interest in Niger, the, uh, the US and EU will back his government no matter what he does. The following day, Tunubu wrote to the Senate to mobilize the army. It failed. Now he has asked ECOWAS Commission to declare mobilization, bribing the ECOWAS nations, bribing their corrupt presidents, giving them money. So it won't look like it's coming from him. But the plan is to secretly deploy Nigerians' military equipment and send soldiers, but not as Nigerian army, but as private contractors. The arrangements have already been made, and the U.S. and France are going to fund it. So if you're wondering why Tunubu is hell-bent on fighting with Niger Republic, despite all Nigerians being against the war, and even the northern senators that he fought so hard to get their support during the last fraudulent election. Well, it is because he doesn't need them anymore. Once he can win back Niger for the U.S. and France, he is free to do anything in Nigeria and no one will care. He can even kill all the protesters, just as he did at the Lekki Gate, and you won't see it in the international news. Don't think this is far-fetched. Just Google Augusto Pinochet of Chile, Suharto of Indonesia, who killed over one million people in Indonesia with U.S. support. Or Ferdinand Marcos of Philippines, or even more recently, a Chad. What Tunubu is trying to do is to gain the approval of the West to completely take over Nigeria, kill Nigerians, just as Fake Buhari did, and plunder the nation dry while having on the unconditional support of the almighty United States. But this will come to an end. Nothing lasts forever. Biafra must be free. Thank you, my brothers and my sisters, for watching this video. And bye-bye for now.